Hello everyone. Welcome to Hard Study Prep. Today we are going to learn lesson 6 on 1000 high frequency vocabularies. Value the vocabs with vital photographs, a story and mnemonics. Mundane means anything concerned with the worldly matters or found in the ordinary course of events. Though Auditing the papers is often seen as common, mundane, boring or materialistic chore. Practicing music makes it much more enjoyable by being restored and uplifted psychologically. Mundane. Monday again. After an amazing weekend, Monday comes again to start all the mundane works. Mundane. Material and germane. That is, mundane means all the common course of materialistic events relevant to the worldly matter therefore the synonyms of mundane are tedious prosaic monotonous or earthly and the antonyms are extraordinary magnificent interesting or exceptional insolent means showing a rude or arrogant lack of respect or marked by causal disrespect Austin offended Alex with his insolent and unmannerly conduct, warning him that he was an army boxer without being introduced on the ring. Insolent, insulting to an overextent, that is any insulting conduct that shows disrespect arrogantly. So the synonyms of insolent are impudent, presumptuous, impertinent, impolite, ill-mannered. On the other hand, the antonyms should be polite, courteous, or respectful. Morose means sullen and ill-tempered. Bill acted morose by being pessimistic about the facts of life, which triggered him as a bad-tempered fellow to his friends and family. Morose, melancholic and choleric, temper arose. Therefore, the synonyms of morose are sulky, gloomy, surly, lugubrious, irascible, or bad-tempered. Therefore, the antonyms should be good-tempered, affable, personable, or cheerful. Platitude is a remark or trite that has been used too often to be interesting or thoughtful. It means a statement or phrase especially one with a moral content that is overused and betrays a lack of original thought. Platitude, flat attitude, that is remark which has a flat attitude on account of overuse. So the synonyms are cliche, banality, inanity, or trite. Parkins urged everyone to leave love and laugh while Parkins himself was always depressed and sad. Therefore, his boss directly said that he could not like his way of only using these platitudes without applying them in his life. The antonyms, that is the words, mean the opposite of platitude are originality or ingenuity. Placate, to, ma to make someone less angry. Vacate means to pacify and vacate or to make someone pacified, vacating his anger or sadness, that is make someone less angry or less sad by comforting their condition. So the synonyms are pacify, propitiate, appease, mollify or conciliate. On the other hand, the antonyms are provoke, excite, inflame or enrage. Bob tried to placate Don who was angry because of the decision taken by the referee. Onerous denotes a condition of, that is involving a great deal of effort, trouble or difficulty. The dead trajectory of Mr. Kent was too onerous for him to return all of them together to the people because he was heavily in debt. Onerous, oppressive on each of us, that is burdensome for all to deal with. The, synonym, the synonyms of onerous are oppressive, 
is strenuous or burdensome. On the other hand, the antonyms are easy, convenient or painless. Intractable means hard to control or deal with or stubborn. Intractable, not tractable or not controllable, that is uncontrollable. Therefore, the synonyms of intractable are unmanageable, recall side trend, disobedient, obstinate or obdurate and the antonyms are obedient, compliant or tractable. Robin's horse was intractable, it absolutely refused to go for a ride. Refute means to prove a statement to be wrong or false. In the conference, the speakers were intended to refute each other's opinion by implying points and counterpoints so that the opposition could be disproved by the individual arguments. Refute, rejected by formal dispute. So the synonyms of refute should be disprove, rebut, confute or repudiate. On the other hand, the antonyms are confirm, verify, or prove. Deadpan means impassive or expressionless. Deadpan, dead in emotionless pan, or it, it indicates a state of dead emotion which is always unexpressive. So the synonyms should be emotionless, stony, unsentimental, or inscrutable. And therefore, the antonyms are expressive or responsive. Refusing to let the enemy see how deeply shaken he was by his capture, the prisoner kept his face deadpan. Disseminate means to spread something, especially information widely or to cause to become widely known. Disseminate, distribute and circulate. For example, the man is disseminating information announcing important remarks for the attendance of the event. Therefore, the synonyms are distribute, disperse, circulate, propagate or publicize and the near antonym is repress. The farmer is disseminating fertilizers to his fields. The stamens and pollens of the flower are being disseminated. Plethora means a large or excessive amount of something. The Southwest Sea is a plethora of natural water sources and food reserve in terms of fish and aquatic species. So the seashore always attracts a plethora of spring migrating birds. Plethora, plenty of flora in the forest. Plenty of flora makes the forest environmentally stable. So the synonyms of plethora are overabundance, excess, surplus or superfluity and therefore the antonyms should be shortage, lack, dearth or scarcity. A steadfast means resolutely firm and marked by dutifully determined. The group of mountaineers remained steadfast in their support for the new weather, even with the adverse conditions. They were so determined and dedicated that they extract the strength out of their natural adversities. A steadfast, a steady that is firmly balanced and secure to be fast, that is firmly fixed and attached, for standing first for anyone to be de dedicated, loyal and committed. So the synonyms are devoted, loyal, dedicated, committed or determined and therefore Irresolute and disloyal mean the opposite as the antonyms of a steadfast. Inchoate means just begun and so not fully formed or developed or rudimentary. The building was still an inchoate structure and far away from being completely constructed. Inchoate introductory comment introductory to comments and inaugurate so the synonyms are basic elementary rudimentary fundamental or incipient and the antonyms are developed or advanced inchoate also means confused or incoherent for example inchoate proletarian protest 
satiate means to satisfy a desire to the full. Having stuffed his stomach with the food served on the occasion until he was satiate, until he was satiated, Steve was so full that he was ready for a nap. Satiate, satisfy and placate, sat inside and ate. They sat inside the restaurant and ate to the full to be satisfied to placate their hunger. The synonyms of satiate are sate, quench or slake and the antonyms are starve or dissatisfy. Desiccate means to remove the moisture from something or to cause to become completely dry. The drought is, is resulting in prolonged shortage in water supply, whether atmospheric, surface water or groundwater. It has desiccated the agricultural land. Desiccate, dry to evacuate, means to remove air, water or another cont contents completely. So the synonyms of desiccate are dry up or dehydrate and so the antonyms should be hydrate or humidify. A story as the application of the learned vocabs. Though working on the papers is often seen as a common, mundane, boring or materialistic task, practicing meditation or music makes it much more enjoyable by being restored, uplifted psychologically. Uninterested in philosophical or psychological discussions, Peter talked only of materialistic and mundane matters. He was always so insolent and morose to accept that any spiritual or philosophical platitude could placate any kind of onerous situation. He was instinctively intractable and stubborn, who always refuted others' opinion immediately with his deadpan voice. As an archaeologist, he visited an archaeological site where a group of students was campaigning for about a week. They welcomed him and disseminated a plethora of information. The group remained steadfast in collecting the data for their inchoate research even within the adverse condition. The information was enough to satiate the archaeologist to develop the future research gradually. The fragments found from the wreckage were desiccated to preserve and utilize them properly. Thanks for watching. Read, realize, resonate, reflect. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanking you from High Study Prep.